few months back, I did a video called Bronze Medal Winners in the Super Bowl era in honor of the Olympics that are happening this summer. While working on the Forgotten 3 Peep Vids video that I did during the pre-Super Bowl era, thought came to mind, what would the third place teams look like in the pre-Super Bowl era for both the NFL and AFL? Before I begin, yes, I am well aware there actually was third place games between 1961 and 1970. Much to the dismay of many, including Vince Lombardi and the Packers, who have referred to this game as the Shit Bowl. Heck, even the NFL doesn't even acknowledge this as a playoff game, just merely an exhibition game. With that being said, I consider these third place games nullified. And now, on to the actual video. Well, we started in 1920, the Akron Pros beating out the Decatur Staley's, now the Chicago Bears, with the Buffalo All-Americans finishing third. The next year, the Staley's slash Bears would go and get their championship. You'll definitely see the Bears plenty on this list. I already talked about the Bulldogs winning three championships in two different cities in my three-peat video. And oh good lord, the 1925 championship controversy between the Cardinals and the Maroons. To summarize this controversy in short, it rivals the tuck rule. And now we're going to start to see the Giants and the Packers are plenty on this list. Yes, that AP is the Packers' old logo. Let's talk about 1928 real quick. Providence Steamrollers winning over Frankfurt Yellow Jackets, who won in 26. And third place team, Detroit Wolverines. That was the NFL in 1928, ladies and gentlemen. And here's where the franchises that we know, that being Packers, Lions, Bears, and Giants, get in third place or better seemingly year in and year out. With a random Brooklyn Dodgers appearance in 1933. Yes, there was a Brooklyn Dodgers in the NFL. Hell, there was a Pittsburgh Pirates for seven years when they started. And this page, more of the same except cross off the Lions and put Washington in there. Including that disastrous 1940 championship. Woof. More Washington, more Green Bay, more Giants, more Bears. Oh my. Ah, uh, we see the Eagles making their first appearance, and the Rams, when they were in Cleveland, making their first appearance with their first championship in 45. Even with World War II brewing, even the dominant team stayed dominant. And this is the only appearance the Steelers would make on this list. Could have been more if we didn't lose Dr. Jock Sutherland so soon. And here's the Cardinals winning their only championship that might not be cursed. And here you see Eagles and Rams having multiple occurrences on the list. And the Browns under the list for the first time, and you'll see more of that, like right here. Man, I still find it hard to believe that Detroit and Cleveland were like Dallas and San Francisco of the 90s. Speaking of San Fran, there's their first appearance on the, on the list. Ah, the 57 championship for Detroit that started the curse. Colts doubling down on the Giants. By the way, how many times have I seen the Giants in second place? And there's Philly's last championship before the Philly special. Jesus Christ, Giants, you went 3-11 and 11 in the championship game era? Woof. I mean, these three I get, it's Vince Lombardi in that incredible 63 Bears defense that doesn't get talked about enough. And there in 64 is Cleveland's last world championship with Jim Brown. I know I'm a Steelers fan, I'm supposed to talk shit about Cleveland, but they've appeared 11 times in 16 years on this list. That's pretty damn impressive. Kind of feel the pre Super Bowl era doesn't get enough respect because oh, it's not the Super Bowl. There wouldn't even have been a Super Bowl if it wasn't for the AFL's catching steam in the 60s. Speaking of that, damn, every pre Super Bowl championship in the AFL had either the Oilers or the Chargers in it, huh? Well, I did fail to mention the AFL's three peep bids. Well, as you can see, the Oilers' chance for a three peep bid was thwarted by the then called Dallas Texans, who are now the Kansas City Chiefs. And Buffalo's three-peat bid was also floated by the Kansas City Chiefs in 1966. Fun fact, Tobin Rope, the starting quarterback for the Lions in their last championship in 57, was also the starting quarterback in the Chargers' lone championship in 63. The only QB to win an NFL and AFL championship prior to the merger. And as I did before, let's wrap this video up by showing you the medal count. And let's see who had the most medals pre-Super Bowl era. 